Good boy. Hi everyone. It's Ann at Martin House Flowers. So today is um, another hot one and I wanted to finally plant up the urns at the front porch here. I had talked about in an earlier video that I uh, was trying to figure out what to do there. So I was able to pick up a few things from Lowe's. Uh, I picked up some pansies, um, a couple little mums, um, a Sedum Autumn Joy, and hmm, something else I can't remember, but it's, it's there. So we will uh, plant those up. The sun has finally gone down. It is, it faces south here on the front porch. So it's been a really hot day. I was able to um, bring my grow lights from the guest room into the greenhouse today and move out some house plants. And Greg is working on some shelving for the, for the uh, greenhouse. So that's what we're working on this weekend. So hope you guys are having a great weekend and uh, thanks for joining me. And Eddie wants to say hi if he doesn't stop scratching. Come on, honey, say hi. Poor baby. He's had some allergies. It's time for another allergy pill. So today I wanted to uh, complete the front porch for fall by uh, planting up these urns. I had struggled with what to put in here. Um, I really didn't want to do annuals uh, because we really have probably about four weeks until the first frost. Hard to believe though with today's 89 degree temperatures and this weekend going up to probably the 90s. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I, I did want to um, do some of these nice fall frost hardy pansies. I had originally tried to or wanted to plant these from seed but really lost uh, lost some time. We'll still probably try to do some from seed because I did enjoy doing that in the spring um, and I did pick up a small small mom and I might keep these blue um, these blue morning glories, dwarf morning glories from Proven Winners. Um, I picked up a kale, a small kale and uh, also a Sedum Autumn Joy, which I think will give us a little bit of height. Um, I'm going to be pretty frugal and split this in half and put the other half in the other urn, only because it's, if I put this entire plant in here, it's going to be a little bit crowded uh, because the urn, um, although it's wide, it narrows down um, in the middle, in the center. So yeah, we'll see how it, how it looks and go from there. I did, if you recall my previous um, urn for summer, I did have the uh, obelisk that I made out of um, the uh, pussy willow branches. So I did take those out just to give me some more um, space. So I also have this, um, uh, it's a snapdragon of some sort in the middle that I think I have to remove because I only have room for one, two, three, four plants and with what I have. So I'm going to have to take this out in the middle and it's really not doing much. It's not dead but it doesn't seem to be blooming much anymore. So maybe I'll find a space in the landscape somewhere. Um, there's the roots on it. I mean, honestly, I don't know that it's worth it. Oh yeah, I needed to I was going to grab some new soil, but probably don't have room. So it's pretty shallow along the rim of this urn. So I remember having to kind of plant everything on an angle. pretty dry underneath here but I don't know that I want to um, fertilize at this point in time so I think the first thing I'll plant is this big autumn joy
try and find a space in the middle where I can split it. Or maybe just split it from the, from the roots. Not exactly in half. It's more like a third. And so let's see what happens. I'm going to put her in the middle because that's where most of the soil is. My mom used to swear by sedum. She would just plop them in the ground and they would just grow. She wouldn't do anything to them besides just plopping them in. They're super, super hardy um, and don't need fertilizer, or don't like to be fertilized. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to kill it, having done what I just did. But she's... There's a lot of soil in these pots. So I should be able to make use of all of this good soil. Hmm. At first I thought I should grab my bag of potting mix in the back there, but I don't think I need to. There's so much soil. Trying to bury this guy a little bit. Oh, <laughs> one of the sticks. I guess it broke. Pussy willow. It's amazing that anything grew in this um, in this pot because it is so shallow along the the edges. So I basically took the root ball and sliced it. Cut it in half a little. Yeah, these are really going to be quite shallow. I'm 
feeling bad about this autumn joy. I've broken a few of these. So, let's see how that looks. Might have been easier just to get pumpkins. Sit them on top. That might have been in it. A better idea. Much bigger plant. Well, I wasn't trying to save money as much as trying to save space because there's not a lot of planting space here for anything large. There really isn't a lot of room in here. I'm thinking this was a bad idea to plant here. I'm thinking of putting this in the ground now, and I'm going to find something else to put in the middle. So, I think I'm going to put the mums in the middle.
So the next day, I took a look at the urns, and they weren't as bad as I saw the night before. I moved around a couple of pumpkins from the garden, and for now, they're just going to have to do until I come up with some solution to make them a little more interesting. So I wanted to share with you the roses that are in bloom in the garden. Enjoy. So let me know what you think of the urns. I think they're good for now. I'm not sure what else I can do based on what I was able to find in the garden centers. And lastly, I wanted to share with you the beautiful shelves that Greg had built for me over the weekend. There are the grow lights from my guest room. They now have a place in the greenhouse where I'm holding my indoor plants until I start growing my seeds. So there's the first shelf. He made them out of pine. He even put a groove on the far right there to allow for the shelving. And those brackets are from Hobby Lobby. I thought that they coordinated nicely with the iron finials on the top of the, on the rooftop of the greenhouse. So now I have a place for all my pots. The console table, I was able to store some of my other vases. There's my workbench area where I will work on my seeds. My father-in-law's bench. And he even put up my Miss Anne's garden sign. I absolutely love the greenhouse now. Oh, and there's the Meyer lemon tree we moved in into the greenhouse since the, the nights are starting to get cool. And so far my, my indoor plants are acclimating nicely. I'm watering them every day and I think they'll survive because the evenings are nice and cool. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me.